Disturbed lands are typically any lands that are no longer involved in a natural process or do not contain native species or, or native plant communities. Disturbed lands are an issue throughout the National Park Service. Here in Great Basin National Park, the primary focus has been on abandoned mine lands. Uh, abandoned mines have both significant safety concerns for humans as well as significant ecological issues. The safety concerns include open pits, open adits, uh, open shafts that, that people can fall into. It includes toxic gases that can build up in mines. The ecological issues typically include increased risk of non-native plants as well as erosion concerns that can affect downstream water users. Great Basin National Park has undertaken an extensive uh, restoration program dealing with our abandoned mines. We use several different methods to reclaim the disturbed lands here in the park. The first thing that we do is an extensive inventory and mapping effort. The second stage involves the development of a reclamation plan. The last step is typically to go in and utilize either heavy equipment or hand to revegetate the site. The method of, of attic closure for the mines really depends upon the situation at each individual mine site. It's usually unique. If it's in very unstable rock or soil, either a polyurethane foam plug is used, or if we've done our inventories and we've discovered bat populations, then we make the determination of a bat gate. At this point, we've restored over 160 acres of disturbed mine lands and reclaimed approximately 15 miles of roads that were associated specifically with the abandoned mines. By restoring these sites, we've increased the amount of native vegetation and native plant communities and diversity within the park. The second and even larger impact that we've had is that we've significantly reduced the safety hazards to the general public and our, our visitors and staff. One of our mine sites, the Bonita Mine, was listed in the top 10 most dangerous mines in the National Park Service. Since that time, we've successfully restored it. It's no longer considered a safety hazard for uh, staff or visitors. The National Park Service has as one of its top priorities the maintenance and restoration of native ecosystems. And the Disturbed Lands uh, program uh, fits this goal perfectly. 